The new Canadian show Pink is In was filmed in Hamilton. A Canadian legend is a special guest star on the show for season two, and he's always a special guest star on our show, Morning Live, Patrick McKenna. Good morning. Good morning, Bob. How are you? Good. Th thanks for uh, getting up ridiculously early. Well, for an actor. Oh, or maybe no. I shouldn't say that. I'm sure you have very uh, early start times on many shoots. We, we do, but actually my dogs determine what time I get oh, up now. Okay. <laughs> They're going to come in the shot any time now, I'm sure. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's amazing. We'll talk about Pink is In, but like from Red Green, uh, Murdoch Mysteries, and uh, Pink is In, but I'm sure there's others I'm forgetting or not aware of. I mean, you're from Hamilton, and you have shot so many of your great performances in Hamilton. Well, I kind of make a, a point of doing that. When things come up about Hamilton, I like to go, yeah, you know, it's always been lucky for me, Hamilton, that way. Red Green was shot in Hamilton, and we uh, so many of the Murdochs are, as you mentioned. And then when Pink came up, it was like, well, that's perfect. It's uh, it's Chatham uh, Wentworth, I believe, is the name of the prison. I live up in the Chatham area now. So it's it, everything was saying, come do the show. And it, it's been a, a hoot. So producers, when they want to hook you, they need to know that. It's got to have a Hamilton connection. <laughs> It kind of works best that way for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Okay, tell us about Pink is In. You know, it's a. the funny thing is, I, they just reached out to me and they showed me these scripts and they were so incredibly silly that I just thought, this is hilarious. And my friend Ellie Ray Hennessy's in it. So I thought, well, that's a good omen. And it's shot in Hamilton, that's a good omen. So everything was kind of leading up to it. And the producer, Lisa Crawford, was just so generous of, of her time and what I could do and what I could bring to the character of the show. They were just wide open. So it was like, this was a win-win for me. Okay, it, so it, it takes place in a, ha in a prison that's basically in Hamilton. It's, it's all a women's prison. They're silly, they're crazy, they do uh, outrageous choices, and they get away with it all. It's quite wonderful. Yeah, that's the cool thing, not just shot in Hamilton, but, but it's actually set in Hamilton. So tell us about your character. Is it Colonel Quokka? Colonel Lukoka, yeah. He's a Russian who's come over to uh, investigate how prisons work in Canada. <laughs> but we don't know if, if he's going to stay or not. Uh, we don't know what his uh, ultimate goal is. But now that Russia's in a whole other game, maybe he has another agenda. So you're going to invade the uh, I'm going to invade the Ukrainian portion of Hamilton. <laughs> <I think that's laughs> right. So it ties in the current events as well. That's, that's great. You, you got to keep it relevant. You got to exactly. keep it fresh. Bob. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're a special guest star. Uh, can you see this, um, you know, evolving into a full time role on the show? Or are you too busy for that? I would love I would love if it did. Uh, I have no idea what the, they have planned in the long run. I had such fun doing it. I hope they can find a justification to bring me back. So I'm open to it all. Yeah, we should mention there's actually a nomination for your gang, uh, Best Ensemble with the Actor Awards coming up next month. Yeah, and that's fantastic because that is a really hard category to get in because there's yeah. so many fabulous group shows out there that CBC is doing and APTN. There's a lot of great shows yeah. to compete with. Aren't we so in a real a cable sweet show spot? to be noticed and recognized, it's a, it's a real honor, and I wish them well. Yeah, isn't this a real sweet spot for Canadian television and Canadian comedy specifically? Yeah, it's really doing well. Uh, you, there's so much young uh, attitude coming into it that's kind of making new comedy for us, yeah. you know, versus what we did. I don't know if Red Green would be picked up now. I don't know if that type really? of show would work. It's, it needs more. There's so much more bite in comedy these days for good and bad, but it, uh, it's very different. Well, maybe. And we're doing so well at it that we're just slaying with our comedy. It's oh, yeah. incredible. Yeah. Well, maybe you could do a, a reunion show, but just go dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that that goes over real well. Yeah. <laughs> but Red Green, I mean, it's, the show has its fan clubs online, and oh that would goodness, be huge if there was a reunion. Oh, if there was a reunion, you know, the lineup would be so long just for the cast to say yes, let's do it. We, you know, that me, seeing me as Harold now would be a little bit different. I think I could play Red easier than I could play Harold. Oh, come on, <laughs> do some Harold before we go. <laughs> I really love the show. I'm pretty. Uh, Pink is in. Is really in. And uh, Red Green, you got to find it on YouTube. Go look on YouTube. <laughs> I knew we'd squeeze that out of him. <laughs> He's never far. He's never far, Bob. Hey, congratulations, well, Granddad. Oh, you saw it. Thank you very much, Patrick. I did. Thank what you. What a beautiful addition to and, your uh, family. Oh, they're telling me 10 seconds left. I'm going to say congratulations and thank you for all you do. And come back soon on Morning Live. Patrick McKenna. See you in Pink is in. Thank you.